She saw the numbers going up and says she knew it wasn't okay. A local teacher quitting her job today when her hopes of schools reopening to virtual learning didn't happen. You know, it, it's, it was a very hard, tearful, shaky decision. And it is still difficult today. This, I just did this today. So this is hard for me. Um, but I know that I'm doing the right thing. Jennifer Beebe says she's taught at Neptune Beach Elementary School since 2004 and loves the school. Yeah, she says that that's just another reason that her decision to leave is so painful but necessary. And Joy is here now. Joy, so Beebe wants fellow teachers to be encouraged by her resignation. Yes, Kent Mary, she says virtual learning seemed like an obvious choice to her and her colleagues to start this school year. And she hopes her leaving will encourage other teachers to make decisions that are best for their own families. I kept hoping that we would go virtual, that we would have, you know, common sense. We would come to some sense, but that didn't happen. And Local so elementary school today. teacher Jennifer Beebe because thought for sure schools would start this year the same way they ended last year. But when the state of Florida required schools to open their buildings to students, Beebe says she just couldn't go along with it. It's sad. I'm, I'm, I'm angry. You know, I don't feel like we've had the leadership that would give us what we needed all along to do this. So, um, you know, it's, it's a heartfelt and very sad goodbye. When the largest teachers union in the state recently sued to stop the opening of brick and mortar schools, Bibi says her hopes were dashed to learn a decision won't likely come until after the start of school. I, I just couldn't go forward. I couldn't do it. I just felt like it was not in the best interest for myself, my family. Bibi has been teaching for 23 years and she, she smiles when asked math, what she'll miss and, most. Um, I just love those kids. They are my life. Like they give me joy every single day. What they say, what they do, the funny things that they do <laughs> that, you know, do you, you just can't replace it. There's nothing that's going to replace a class of children. But unfortunately, right now, a class of children is not a safe place to be. Jennifer Beebe spoke with our education reporter, Joe McLean, in that interview. But I spoke with her about an hour ago over the phone. She says she will work as a teaching freelancer for now, offering tutoring and similar services. Once she knows for sure it's safe, she says she would love to return to conventional teaching again.